Hi, in this in, uh, tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the new interaction module of Instant VR 3.7 which uses the Unity event system to interact with the environment. Uh, so I'm going to use how to use gaze selection, pointing and touching of objects uh, to uh, interact with uh, the environment. And the example I'm going to use is to switch on and off the light in the scene in various ways using user interface and 3D objects for uh, interacting with them. So to start with that I'm going to create a first user interface for switching on and off the, uh, the light. So I'm going to use the UI canvas to build up everything upon that. As we're using virtual reality, we need to work in world space instead of screen space. So, first thing I'm going to change is in the canvas, I'm going to switch the screen space to world space. And you will see that all the coordinates by default will be defined in values like screen space, and which is way too big for, uh, for world space. So we have to adjust that. So instead of having a width of 500 meters or units in Unity, um, I'm going to make a width of four, 40 centimeters by 60 centimeters. And I'm going to put it in front of my avatar at uh, 1.7 high and 50 centimeters in front of us. So this is the canvas on which I'm going to put my buttons. And I'm going to use two buttons for that. So at the canvas, user interface button. Again it's huge so I'm going to scale it back 40 centimeters 20 centimeters so that's my basic button and I'm going to change the image a bit because I like it better like this and the, because this is my on button I'm going to color it green so make it green so that's my first button and I want another one so for switching it off and that will be the duplicate and I'm going to use and call this button off and this will be then the button on and of course the off button should be colored red instead of green uh, okay so they're on top of each other this one will be a bit higher and this one should be placed a bit lower so these are my buttons right now, which I'm going to use to switch on and switch off uh, the light. So how do we switch on and switch off the light? Well, for that we have need to interact with the buttons. And uh, now Instant VR has a uh, built-in interaction with uh, uh, objects. And uh, we're going to start with gaze interaction. Uh, gaze interaction is available in all versions of Instant VR, including the free version and which you can use to look at objects for uh, activating them. So when you go to the head target, because gazing is connected to the head, you will see that the head movements part now has interaction scripts. And the interaction is by default switched off, but now we're going to set it to gazing for gaze interaction with the environment. And then you will see that, that there will be a reticle, in this case it's the default sphere, which is actually showing to uh, which objects you are actually looking at at that moment. But it doesn't do anything uh, unless I press the mouse button. And you can already see that it's click click with the mouse. It's uh, interacting with uh, the uh, buttons. Instead I could also use uh, a game controller if it's switched on, <laughs> uh, but uh, because the button which is used is actually defined in uh, by the script here, uh, which is actually button one on the right side of the game controller. So in this case, on the right side is this A button, which is the primary button uh, for interaction, and now it's switched on, as you could have heard. I can use also the A button click it on or off. Well, it's not reporting right now yet. Actually, when you s uh, look at the script, you can also see that there is an, a parameter which is actually showing to which object you are looking. 
So that you can use for interaction yourself you to determine where the, uh, the player is looking at. However, instead of just changing uh, uh, the shade of the, uh, of the button a bit, we want to turn on and turn off the, the point light like, like I showed you. So for that we have to add trigger events, uh, event, event triggers to the buttons. So when we go to the on button, we need to add an event trigger, so event trigger to the object. This event trigger will actually act on when it is uh, receiving a, tri a trigger from the interaction module. And in this case, I'm going to use a click. So when I'm clicking on the interaction of the uh, object, it's uh, uh, when I'm clicking on the uh, user interface object it's actually doing something and what what I want to do is a new event I'm going to use the point light like I'm set so the object which is going to be changed right now is the point light and and now here you can see that you can change all kinds of things of, uh, uh, from the game object or the transform but I'm going to change the light because I want to enable and disable the light so in this case it's the on button so I want to enable the light just like here where you have actually the enable and disable of the light we're, we're now going to do that with the, the event trigger. Similarly, when we go to the, the off button, we do the same. So we have the event trigger, and when I'm clicking on it, some, uh, something is happening, and in this case it's happening with the point light, and we're going to disable the light. So enabled is false in this case. So now when we press play again, and we click while looking at the the buttons you can see that it's on off on off it's enabling and disabling the light just like we want it so this works this works nicely but not in all cases we want to use a, a controller or a, a mouse uh, to uh, enable uh, or uh, trigger the event for cha changing uh, the light we could, uh, could also use time based activation so when we go back to the head target, you can also see the auto activation, which is by default set to zero. When we set to that a non-zero value, it's the amount of seconds which is taken before it's actually activated. So you can put it to one or 1.5 seconds. And now when I'm looking for 1.5 seconds to the object, you see that it's automatically triggering it. No hands, it's actually doing it time-based. However, you see that the reticle, the, the sphere uh, which is in front of you, is not giving any feedback that you are actually in the process of activating a button. So how you, how you want to uh, do that is uh, your own choice, because you can do it on a different things, you can change color, you can uh, make circles uh, 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 with animations and so on. So I've made it possible to, to implement your own behavior of the reticle. So, uh, so instead of the, using the default focus object, which is a sphere, I'm going to define my own focus object. And I'm going to make it very simple again, because uh, for, uh, not, not to complicate the tutorial too much, I'm going to use uh, a sphere in this case too. So, uh, so I have defined my own sphere. I will put it away on the origin and I'm going to make it about 10 centimeters in diameter. And now I go back to the head target and instead of using the default uh, focus object, I'm actually using my new sphere as the focus object. So there's not a much difference, but, uh, but actually this is my own sphere right now, looking, at, uh, looking around. Uh. However, when you, when you see that's not looking at the user interface, it's actually flying towards you. Why is that happening? Well, actually that's happening because the sphere itself is a 3D object you can look at. 
and because it has a collider you can actually look at it so when you want to uh, use an object for uh, a reticle do not use a, a collider or it will fly towards you so in this case I need to remove the collider and now it still it works like you want it so the next thing I want to do is uh, add behavior to, to my focus object and for that I've added a, 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 a script component which you can use to uh, add your own behavior and you can just add to your uh, uh, focus object a script which is derived from the reticle script so here you have the IVR not the Google, not the Google VR one but the instant VR reticle and uh, the instant VR reticle actually has the gaze phase parameter which will go from 0 to 1 when you're actually looking at an object and you can already see that when it uh, goes to 1 it actually activates the, uh, the object the, it will then send the event to uh, the object that we can use to change the, the behavior of, uh, of the reticle or of the focus object so uh, in the package there is already an example of uh, a derived uh, script which is called the sphere reticle and when we go to the script you see it's derived from reticle so it will have this gaze phase uh, parameter and here it is used that when I'm looking at an object when the gaze phase is actually less than one I'm looking currently actively looking at an object and then the uh, size of the reticle will be uh, scaled from uh, 10 centimeters to zero so actually it will disappear giving you feedback that actually it's that something is happening when you're looking at the object so now you can see oops this is off that you get feedback of that you're actively looking at an object so you can use this uh, parameter for uh, any kind of thing uh, animations color changes or whatever you want uh, as long as you base it on the class reticle okay so now we have interaction with user interface uh, objects you can use any uh, a kind of object for the, from the user interface but uh, we also want to use uh, 3d objects for interaction so for that I'm going to move away a bit this user interface to the left no that's a sphere I have to go to the canvas and that one will be moved to the left because on the right I'm going to have a similar canvas but then not uh, with user interface components but with 3D objects so I'm going to create an empty object as my base and I will be putting that uh, next to the other and so and I'm going to uh, I will call that canvas 3d and I'm going to create two buttons just like with the user interface but this time using 3d objects based on cubes so uh, the width of this one will be uh, 35 centimeters and the height is 15 and 5 centimeters deep and let's put this one already uh, a bit higher I'm not going to use colors this time because it takes much time uh, and uh, so this is the second one which is below the first so this will be my oops, button on and this will be renamed to button off and just like with the user interface objects you can add the event triggers to turn turn on and off the light so and now uh, we have the pointer click we add a function for the light and enable it true because this is the on button and now we add the event trigger 
pointer click when I'm clicking on it. The point light, oh, oops, too fast. Um, sorry, I need to add an entry. The point light will be switched. Enabled. False. Enable. Disable. So in the same way, I should be able to control the light now by looking at, oh, this was on, 3D objects. And this one still working. So here you can see how you can interact with user interface of 3D objects using the event system of, U, uh, of Unity to get all kinds of uh, behavior. This, like I said, this is uh, supporting all versions of Instant VR, including free. Um, but now we're going to move to uh, hand interaction because it's not just looking around. I also want to, uh, to do hand interaction with Unity. And I already have the, the touch controllers in front of me for uh, hand interaction. Um, but first let's, let's disable the gazing because otherwise we get all kinds of interference between the two. And I move to the right hand target and here we have instead of the head movements we have the hand movements. And you, but you see we'll see the same collection of uh, parameters as we have seen for the hand target. And for the interaction now we have instead of gazing we have two other options touching and pointing. I'm starting with the second one pointing. And in this case I'm going to use pointing at objects to interact with them. Just like gazing, but then with your finger. So here I have my hand and when I'm uh, actually making a pointing uh, gesture or pose with my index finger forward, I can pose on all kinds of objects. It's not much happening because I'm not doing, I'm just pointing at them. Now just like with uh, uh, the gazing, I can use button or time interaction for, uh, for uh, interaction. By default auto activation is disabled and button 1 on the controller, in this case the A button on the touch controller, will activate it. So when I press A, you can see that I can actually interact with the buttons. Oops, and let's turn it on. But just like with gazing, it's also to use auto activation. So I'm not pressing any button right now, and I'm, but uh, except for pointing at them. Oh, that was already off. So that. In a way, similar to gazing, you can also point at all, all kinds of objects to get interaction with those objects. Um, but uh, however, it would be uh, much nicer to also be able to touch the objects with, the, with your hands, just like they, have been, uh, they are uh, real objects. So we switch from pointing to touching, and now we should be able just to touch objects like the off button to switch on and off and on <laughs> it's a bit too far I have to move a bit closer to put it on and off on and off so maybe I should just put it on 40 centimeters and I could also shoot Hey, user, user interface buttons do not tend to work this time. It will be fixed, it should work, it has worked always, but this time it doesn't work somehow. Um, so actually, you will see that I'm actually using in, uh, 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 the edge version, you will see that the hands are actually touching the objects. Touching uh, 3D objects like that, not moving through the objects, uh, is supported in Edge version with the advanced uh, physics. When you're using at, uh, the uh, advanced uh, version of Instant VR, your hands will not go, uh, actually be, um, your hands will move through the objects. I can show that by disabling the physics on the hand, and now when I interact 
with the object, you will see that they will move through the blocks. And you will also see that they don't interact with your hands anymore. So why is that? That's because of the limitations of the physics engine. Uh, the hands are kinematic objects like that, and when you have kinematic objects which in, uh, inter uh, interact with the environment, there are very limited ways that you can use interaction with that. So if you're using instant VR and you want 3D objects to uh, react on touch events, you need to do something. And I'm going to show you what. So the button off I'm going to show you first. It already has a collider, but it doesn't respond to uh, the, uh, the hands because it doesn't have a rigid body. So we need to add a rigid body. We need to freeze it in space. I'm not going to use static objects because kinematic objects and static objects do not interfere. This is the only way uh, it can work. So we have to freeze it in the air. So we're turning off uh, gravity and check all constraints on it. So now it's actually a rigid body which I can touch. And now you see it's open, the, off, uh, the on button is not uh, changed yet. But I can do that the same. So if you're using instant VR advanced and you want to interact with 3D objects, you should add a rigid body and check all constraints. And now I should be able to uh, turn off and on the light with without physics. So you can see the hand will move through the 3D object but still interact with that. So here you can see what's possible uh, in, a, uh, in a very introduction of the interaction module by uh, interacting with objects, user interface, 3D objects, by looking at them, pointing at them, touching with them. You can do anything with that. And I hope you can create uh, wonderful things uh, with the new interaction module. Uh, if there is any problem or you want to achieve something and you don't know how to do it, please contact me because I'm very willing to help you further with your developments and your questions will also help me to improve my products. So don't he hesitate to contact me and uh, good luck with the new uh, features of the interaction module. Thank you. Bye.